up to the Jake Games Strap. Yo, what's happening, guys? Welcome to Dragon Age The Veil Guard. Brand new series we're starting. Game just came out uh, last Thursday. I was hoping to play it then, but things didn't work out, so we're here now. We're going to jump right into it, into a brand new game. Uh, ten years, I've been waiting for this. I'm so excited. Let's, let's freaking do it. Let's jump right in. I knew him as Solus. Smart, thoughtful, loved to hear himself talk. But long ago... He had a different name, the Dreadwolf, ancient elven god of lies, or heroic rebel against tyranny, depending on which story you believe. What is the truth? We never know the truth. In his desperate fight against the corrupt elven gods, Solus imprisoned them, creating a veil that split our world from the raw magic of the Fade. He had won. But the veil cost the elves everything. Their magic, their freedom, even their immortality. Now, Solus wants to tear down that veil and undo Ooh. the damage he caused, even if that means our world has to burn. At Somebody's got to stop him. At all costs, man, and he's going to do it where you come in okay <laughs> I'll try I'll try my best <laughs> all right what do we got here lineage uh, we got elf Kunari human or dwarf I think I'm gonna go we're gonna go full circle here we're gonna go back to an elf um, played as an elf in the first one a Dalish elf uh, descendants of an ancient fallen empire pushed to the margins in the past. Some elves are building a brighter future by exploring their civilization's lost wonders. Noise. Okay, I think we'll go with that. Because, yeah, in the first game, Dragon Age Origins, I played the uh, the elf. So I think it's time to kind of go back to that. We're going to pick this. Actually, no. What, what, maybe I'll pick this. This guy's got... Uh, like a skin condition. Can add skin conditions now, I guess. So I suppose we'll go with that. Alright, well, let's go with this. We can we can change it. He him, uh man. Continue. Oh no, we need to customize. Yeah, we need to get into the customization. Head shape. Setting all facial feature sliders to their base values. Okay. Reset. Oh wait, I don't know what the fudge it's telling me. Whoa. We gonna have a big head? A big old head? I don't know. I guess we could just go like right in the middle, smack dab in the middle. Right? Can you even do that? I don't think you can hit right in the middle. I don't think it's possible. I think this may be as close as we get. Yeah, there we go. Right in the middle. I don't know. I don't know why, but uh, that's what we're going for. Head shape. Okay, now we go back. Complexion. No freckle. We'll go freckleless. Actually, I do have some. I have some of this nose kind of freckle. We can go for that. We're going to make him semi look like me, I suppose. Intensity. Oh, that's that uh, skin thing. Being the gamer, I'm here because I have head hurting. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the head hurting club. It sucks. But glad to see you here. Starting out this brand new game. Going to be, uh, going to be good. We gotta, we gotta create character. It always, it always takes so long creating character. It's like so many options. We'll go with that. No melanin, or all the melanin. Um, that's good. Good enough. Um, is that it for this? Okay, good. 
forehead. Should we give him a big a big old five head? Make his head a little wider. Yeah, let's do let's do a wider head. I got a wider head, don't I? Flatten. Flatten what? Oh, his uh, his brow or something. I don't know. I don't freaking know what that's doing. <laughs> Space out them eyebrows. Let's uh, let's lift him up a little. There we go. There we go. Where's the cheek and jaw? Where's like the hair? Where's my hair options? Scalp? Where do you? Oh, maybe it's up here. Hair. That's what we're really looking for. Oh, they got a lot of, got a lot of hairstyles. At the top of the screen, yeah, I just now, I just now noticed it. It's bonkers. It's quite bonkers that they've done this. I suppose we'll go with this, this. He's got like that Jedi braid. That's kind of cool, actually. I'm kind of liking that. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, that's how you rotate. That's like a mullet, man. <laughs> With a Jedi braid. I like it. I'm going for that. Frig it. I don't care. I ain't scared. Now we need to make it poopy flavored. Um, That's the hair first hair you used. Yo, what up, Awakey? Welcome, buddy. You are right on time for the new Dragon Age. We're just here doing a little bit of character creation. For some reason... Okay, that's better. That's less orange. Turbo, what up? Uh, hey, Jake. Haven't been here for a week. Where you been? What have you been doing? Um... I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that is that done? Is that good enough? Or should I add some? We can add some tattoos, actually. Uh, Ross says, hey, Jake, I got my membership back. Nice. Very nice. Bean said, uh, but then you use this because it good. Nice. Like I haven't been on the streams. Yeah, I've, uh, I've noticed. Oh, I've noticed. But, um... Glad to have you back. I'll be lurking in another tab. Got a test, so I got to prepare. We'll finish off study, and we'll come watch. All right, nice. Very cool. Good luck with uh, studying and tests, and uh, we'll see you when you get back. I pick, like, a face tattoo. I think in the first one, I might have had this one, and I might have had... I think I like the tree the best. We're going to go tree, and... Uh, close that how do we change the color let's go they don't have black we don't want it so bright do we I don't think I don't feel like that's doing anything I don't know what that's what that's done we'll just leave it at that uh, bean says make blue skin Ross says I have almost finished this game dang dude it's crazy I didn't have any time to play it until today. I mean, I wanted to play it Thursday, but I just, um, it didn't come out until noon for me and I have to work at three. So like, I really had no time to download it and play it a big bummer. Now, what are these? Oh, you can change the lighting. Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right, well, let's, uh, let's go for it. It's a big game, you say? Yeah, I'll probably be playing it forever then. <laughs> Alright, so we're on to... That's our dude. We're going to move on to class. What do we want? A mage, a warrior, or a rogue? Hmm. We got different armors. Kind of like that armor. Uh, so the first one, Dragon Age Origins, I was, I was a rogue, 
Second one, I was a mage. Third one, I was a warrior. So do we come full circle? Do we go back to being a rogue? Actually, that's probably a good idea, right? I would think so. Explore. I'm gonna go rogue. I'm feeling it. Continue. Faction. Bean, Bean says rogue. Okay. Good deal. I made the right choice then. I was also thinking Grey Wardens. If we're, if we're coming back, you know, to Dragon Age Origins, an elf, a warden, but our other options are Veil Jumpers, Shadow Dragons, Lords of Fortune, Morn Watch, ooh, Necromancers. I'm not even a mage, so how can I do that? Or an Antivan Crow, the uh, Assassins. I think, um, I think Grey Wardens. I'm feeling that. Let's go. Uh, shield against the night. When innocent lives were at stake, Rook led the charge, saving a village from a monstrous nightmare, no matter the cost to himself. During a large Darkspawn incursion, Rook was ordered to hold the line with the Grey Wardens until reinforcements arrived. Rook argued that by then, villagers under attack would be dead. His disobeyed orders, leading the squad into the incursion and sealing the tunnel to the deep roads, this turned the tide and the Darkspawn were driven off, saving the villagers. Rook's heroism was popular among the younger wardens, but others within, with connections to noble families resented his independent shriek. Rook chose to step away while tempers cooled. The fourth one is the one I picked, and I was a rogue, says uh, Ross. Okay, so you went with um, assassin rogue kind of deal. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Play style. Storyteller here for the story. Keeper here to build a party. Adventure here for action and adventure. Underdog here to be pushed to the limit. Nightmare here for brutality. I think we'll go balance combat, emphasize party composure, equipment, choices over reaction time. Emphasis on combat, party composition, and equipment choices. I think we'll go with the second one. I'm not I'm not feeling like going too crazy, you know. I don't wanna go with the fourth one. You want me to go nightmare? Or unbound? Dude, that's is there that's even harder than nightmare? Usually like I thought nightmare was the hardest. Now we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna go like a step up from the easiest, you know, we'll uh All right, what do we come up with for a name here? I had I had thoughts. Um, <clears throat> I was Jackaz in the first one. I was uh, what was the hawk's name? Did I even name hawk? Um, hmm. Give me some give me some thoughts here. I had uh, I had something in mind and then I I forgot about it. It's been so long since I was thinking about it. Ross says I'm a scared cat. Hey, I like I like these games for the story. I'm not trying to like suffer here. And I also don't want this series to take ten years to finish. Uh, like some of my other ones are already doing. <laughs> um Name, name, name. Oh, I think it was Jack As, and then I think it was Jerk Az, and then uh, we had Dingle Dwarf. Now, what should this feller be? Some, we, should, we should go back to the Az. You know, Az is always good. It's a good fantasy name. And then, uh... Hmm. Should be something in front of it or behind it? Let's think here. Let's think here. Should we just, should we just go with that? <laughs> Could he just be Az? My dude Az out here. Did I ever do this one? <laughs> is that is that good? Is that a good name? His last name will be Thorn. Piz Pizazz. Pizazz, yeah, that's good, right? Good fantasy name. Hey Timothy Kyle Jake. Good news and hello. Welcome, buddy. Glad to see you here. How are you today? How do we I'm hear the voice? Ah, oh, there we go. 
I'm glad you're here. 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 Okay, that's we'll go with this one. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Low pitch. I'm glad you're here. That'll work. That sounds pretty good. Doing good, and I got Discord, says Timothy Cal. Nice, nice. Uh, Ross says, what about Raven? What about Raven? Oh, for a name? I think, um, I think we're good. I think we got a good name. Solid name. Very, you know, uh, very fantasy type style name. All right, so we got Pizzazz Thorn. He's an elf man, rogue, with the Grey Wardens. Let's go. Let's finalize. Let's do it. Can I join your Discord server, says Timothy Cal? Yeah, of course. Uh, link is in description or on my channel page. So uh, feel free. That goes for anybody. Anybody who wants to join Discord. So, where were we? Oh, right. Him. Our best plan is to stop the Dreadwolf before he can perform his ritual. After following his trail across half the known world, we finally tracked him to Manrathos, capital of the Tevinter Imperium. But to find the Dreadwolf in a city this big, we need a local expert. So, naturally, our story begins where all great stories begin. With the seediest bar in town. And a missing contact. Nice. We're going to the bar. It's where I like to start my games at. <clears throat> this looks good. Let's try this again. Where's Nav Gallus? You think you can come into my bar and make demands? Yes, I do. Uh, Ross says, are you ready to die in the new Subnautica too? Oh yeah, dude, I guarantee I'm going to die in the new Subnautica. Bean said, did you say Panache? No, we went with Piz Pizazz. Uh, let's talk this out. It's not a demand, it's an offer. Telling me what I need to know, it's, it's the smart play here. How'd you figure, sweet talker? Nev Gallus is my only shot at finding the Dreadwolf. I need to know where she is. We were supposed to meet here in your bar, but you let Venatory cultists drag her away. I didn't let them. They paid me. So answer my questions and walk away with the coin. Or spend it cleaning up the place when I'm through. Oh, your choice. You're adorable. Dumat Plaza. That's where you'll find Nev Gallus. Thank you. You want to get yourself killed fighting the Venatori? It's your ass. Yeah, so you choose a name, but you end up just being called Rook anyway, so does anybody even care that my name is Pizzazz? That offer's good for all of you, too. No? Are we gonna fight? If they won't listen to you, they can always listen to Bianca. <laughs> Your friend Nev Gallus is at Dumont Plaza. I heard. That's why. You're my second in command. Although, for the record, you might be too charming for your own good. Dang. Um, Bean said they could have kept it Dragon Age Dreadwolf. I kind of wish they would have. I don't know what the whole Veil Guard thing is. I think Dragon Age Dreadwolf makes more sense. Ross can't wait to play um, Subnautica. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Play it with me. Yeah, we could, we could play together. Uh, because you look for the Dreadwolf, they said in the intro scene. Yeah, the whole thing is still about the Dreadwolf and what he's planning on doing, so I don't know why they changed it. Uh, Alright, but it worked, though. 
So you say that? But we do have Nev's location now, so... Don't get cocky. Come on. Harding will be worried. All right. Break's over. Drink up. Let's hit it. Are we I gonna? Are we gonna find her? Finding people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. Oh, this is wild. The Archon's palace. Something must have gotten them riled up. Here we go. We're in it. We're doing it. Feels a little bit, um, a little bit weird. Maybe a little Should jumpy. You guys have to let me know how the stream looks. Just get out of here. Maybe I'll need to uh, down some settings or something. You know, I think there's. I think they're saying there's not going to be uh, DLC for this, which is a bit of a bummer. Press. Um, what? While well, moving? What the heck was that about? Watch out! Oh, are we gonna fight? I think uh, I think we might be doing okay now. You guys will have to let me know. Fight! I want a I want a weapon. I need a weapon. And they're slipping through the cracks. Get to Harding. We're, we're, we're working on it. Completely? Whoa! Then the whole world is going to look a lot like this. What is that? Turbo says, I promise I won't use it for anything bad. On, nah, only the only the good stuff, right? I believe you. I absolutely believe you. F to jump. Back in my days, games would come out and you could play everything was good, but then the settings were set in the best settings, but You're now it needs its butts. Get inside it's true. Bar the doors quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Yeah, it's crazy, man. They just, like, they don't optimize things for PC, you know? Turbo says, yeah, also big pup puppy eyes are back oh the puppies your your uh the little puppies that you got here in dragon age or as we like to call them demons bean says better now yeah we had to go like medium quality on everything to make it run decent nothing we couldn't handle speak for yourself have you got my gear right over there Ooh, I got a bow. where's nev gallus wasn't she at the meeting point the venatory got to her first they grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Not a problem. I saw Dumont Plaza while I was scouting the area, and it was crawling with Venatori. Follow me. Yeah, it's like they just don't optimize these new games for PC ever. No matter what, you gotta fudge with some settings. We got demons, we gotta fight. We got puppies, we gotta fight, says Turbo. Demon. Combat. Perform a light attack with a left click. Use your light attack up to five times in a row to create an attack chain. The last hit is a final attack and deals increased damage. Turbo, oh, you're finally awake. Yes. We should all just only ever come. play Skyrim. I think all oh, this combat's funky, man. This do be different. Sorry, Turbo, I'm taking out your cousins or these puppies or whatever you want to call them. Let's, let's go. Q to defend. Ah, you want some of this, huh? Ooh, that was big. I think that's the last of them. Big Perry. Good. Let's get to Dumont Plaza and find Nev. He wants me to drink a potion. I don't need to drink a potion. Up if you need it. I don't need to. 
If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That Rats. world existed Rats. before the veil, and he wants Rats. to bring it back. Even if his ritual kills him. You are in violation of Imperial Ooh. Order. Bad game, I remember the rifts being green, not blue. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a little different. Things are looking different, things are feeling different, the fighting's different. I don't know. You know, I was gonna say, um, it might be, it might be a good idea to, what the fudge? What kind of demons are, I don't even know what these things are anymore. Did I block? I didn't block it. Me too. Uh, it may, may be worth it for me to, um, get like an Xbox or something and play the games through my Xbox through my PC, so that way, like, the PC's not taking the brunt of the, you know, running stuff and streaming. I just got some money. So F is jump, huh? That feels a little odd. Get that little doohicker there. Ooh, I actually blocked. Ooh, I sent it back. That was big. Combat definitely feels a little easier, I'd say. Can I attack that thing? So are like the Venatori are working with Solus now? Is that what we're, we're getting at here? Uh, they've erected a barrier to destroy... I, I just did it. I've done it already. Man. This is definitely more, way more action-y than they used to be. Ooh. That's kind of sick, doing that double, double doohicker. Citizens, get inside, please. I'd like to get inside. I'm scared. I don't know what's happening. The world's falling apart. Come on. Guess we're sliding down. Y'all are expecting me to freaking do something about it. Uh, God of War Ragnarok. Play. Uh, go play God of War Ragnarok. Turbo saying. Yeah. Okay. You guys think I should pick up a console though? <laughs> play games through the console, but like stream them through the computer. Might be a good way to go, honestly. Use tab to use your static strike ability. Rows generate momentum by attacking enemies uninterrupted. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Ooh, that's kind of sick. Barric Tetris. The Venatorio in these streets. Yo, this feels so weird. It's just so different. You don't want none of this, pal. Not on my tallest day. What is what is this combat like? I don't know. I I don't feel like I haven't played a game with some weird combat like this. Number one. Come back here and let me show you what the number one does. Oh, it's that static strike. Another Sick. barrier. But it looks like Nev's work, not the Venatori's. So do we break it still? We investigate it. There she is. Beric, hiding. What's she got? Not there? the worst timing. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori kidnapped you. They thought it looks the same like a thing. dental tool. A lot of Venatori in the city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. Find out who wanted to settle the score this time. Then the sky started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. I hate when that happens. Appreciate it. Rook, this is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev meet Rook. Harding and I found him a while back. Thought we could use an expert on trouble. Rook, like the chess piece. One of the strongest pieces on the board, but That's he me. tends to think in straight lines. That's me. Uh, Turbo says, nah, this combat is good. It's, it doesn't, it's not horrible, I guess. It's just not Dragon Age. You know, like, this doesn't feel like I'm playing Dragon Age right now. You rescued yourself, I see. We came prepared for a rescue. 
Looks like you're way ahead of us. A rescue? You're sweet. You said you had a lead? I haven't seen Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in Elven ruins. Hmm. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go. If he's inside that statue. It gets any worse. He's become a statue. Worse. This ritual is already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god. Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. <laughs> Turbo says, where are the aging dragons at? I'm sure we're going to find some very aged dragons. Some extremely aged dragons. They're going to be massive because they're going to be so, so if aged. So we do catch Solus or the Dreadwolf, whatever he calls himself, what's the plan? He the plan is we frig him up. Hopefully that ritual takes his full attention. So we catch him while he's doing his ritual so he can't fight us. That's the hope. If it comes to a straight up fight, we're dead. We're going to get there. We're going to frig him up real good. Real good, like. Dude. This. I, you know, like, there's not really any. It seems like they're struggling to walk across it, but there's not really any. You just press forward. And you just walk across the beam. It's not like it's. Not like it's anything crazy. You're getting too old for this. I'm too old for this. I think I can zip line, man. I'm freaking. I'm an old man here. I didn't give myself a beard. Can elves, elves not have beards again? I know before you couldn't have beards as an elf. I think maybe that's the case here. There. That's the building I tracked Solus to. Oh, I can break stuff. Looks like the Venatori also found it. And that's then demons cool. found them. Can I break these pots? Can I go full Legend of Zelda? You can. What did I just get? Hold on a second. That's kind of cool. I love destructible environments. And where's the Inquisitor? You know, I have a feeling the Inquisitor is going to make an appearance, but probably not yet. Ranged attack. Uh, press right click to fire your bow. Tap right click to quick fire your bow or hold for an aimed shot that deals bonus damage. Okay. Yo, very cool. That's actually pretty sick. Do I have like unlimited arrows or am I limited by Oh, they restore after some time. Don't make me block. Ooh, I got him. You gotta get some good timing with those parries there. More? But wait, so there's more. Everything looks so different. Are these supposed to be like those frosty demons? Because they don't look like them at all. Enchantment on the entrance. I can get it. Okay, do it. But is there anything this way? Can I swim? Alright, whatever. Let's go in. Let's go for it. So this is the Dread Wolf's hideout. One of them, at least. Nice Not little sure cave. He's been here. It's kind of a nice little cave ancient. here. Solus has been around longer than Menrathus itself. That's bonkers. I know. I mean, I know he's like supposed to be an elven god and stuff, but like that's just that's just bonkers. I don't know what to think of that. Uh, but it won't be your Inquisitor. Yeah, it will. I'm pretty sure they let you, like, import your Inquisitor from Inquisition into this. Solus hates slavery. One of the few things we actually agreed on. He said the other elven gods were tyrants who oppressed his people. He was trying to help them. I'm pretty sure we'll see the return of Dingledorf. That would be very nice. Give me money. What do you see? No money? sign of Solus. 
just a big glowing window or mirror oh, or something. Oh, it's a Luvian. Well, that sounds ominous. Oh, boy. If they game of uh, the year material... Oh, you think th this? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's been kind of... Something to a dragon, I think. Chaining yeah. a dragon? Trying to control it, maybe? Sola it said the other elven gods were evil. If they were binding dragons, he was right about that much, at least. Huh. Maybe we will see a dragon. I don't know. There's been mixed reviews on this, I feel like. Some people have enjoyed. Some people have hated. So I don't know Demons. for certain. Low on arrows, of course. Always low on arrows. So there's no, like, pausing and doing tacticals. It's, it, feels, it feels odd. That I can't pause game and... I can do that. Make me go backwards. Make me go forwards. Do that. I can break pots. The green pots seem to always give you like a health up. That's the way. But what about this way? We always must explore the side options. Ah, good thing I did because we needed this. Is there it another? sounds like that opened something below. Ah, then let's have a look. <laughs> no fall damage. <laughs> At least not from that height. He's very um, vain, this dread wolf. Look at all these statues of himself. Ooh, a chest. What did I even get? More, more monies? What is all this stuff? I need to investigate everything. We need to know all the answers. Come on. Come on now. Nothing. When do, uh, where do I level up? How do I see my experience? This is how I do this. Okay, so this is like, kind of like doing your tactic menu, I, I suppose. You can like, click on these things. This takes you to here. Is there like, not character menu? This the big glowing window you saw earlier, Rook. It's called an Alluvian. They're elven and very old. It acts like a doorway from one place to another. Solus uses them to get around quickly. All right, let's go for it. Must have gone through it. Let's go in. Let's jump uh, jump right in. I love stepping through mysterious glowing windows. It's my favorite. Well, we're not in Manrathus anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. Oh. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. So how do we get over there, man? That's a far way to go. The tremors are getting worse. The ghosts. And the demons. demons. These are some funky looking demons. You don't want none of this, pal. I like that bow, man. That bow's actually pretty sick. I like the, uh, actually aiming. And I thought the demons were bad back in Minrathus. The fade's a mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. If all these green pots have health, that's kind of wild. They're making it super easy. Oh, yeah. They all have, like, potions. If your health is low, it just takes it. Make it super Does easy. It feel like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it. We gotta get there. I like just bowing them. Look at done already. Press uh, left or forward. What? What? Oh, is it just saying to like click attack as you're pressing forward? I guess that's probably all it's saying. I don't know. Beginning, or the end of the beginning. 
It's the end of the beginning. We get tremors every time one of those big crystals at the ritual site lights up. Not many of them left to light. Might want to hurry. I'm working on it, buddy. There's also, like, things I need to investigate and pick up, so... Don't be trying to rush me or anything. Man, this makes you feel, like, so OP. Oh, I see my, uh, experience now. Dude, I have, like, nothing towards my experience towards my, like, next level. What the fudge? I feel like I've been fighting a lot here. Did I, like, just now start gaining experience? I've got a bad feeling about this. Ooh. Almost there. Use ability shortcuts by pressing one, two, or three. Okay. I only have one ability, so I've, I've already got that that down. <laughs> I think we're chilling. More demons. Yo, Mage is pretty cool too, actually. I think I'd probably do another playthrough at some point with Mage. I want to see the Inquisitor as the main antagonist. Hey, that'd be kind of crazy. Dingle Dwarf comes back and he's like actually was the bad guy. Maybe he was like, he was in charge of Solus the whole time, but we didn't even know. Even though it was me who was playing as him. Yo, that'd be bonkers. Oh yeah. Nothing compared to how many will get if Solus Ooh, that might not have been a good idea to use lightning against a lightning dude. Am I winning? I must be. Well, I have a feeling like Solus isn't going to be the main antagonist of this. I think that he's he's a big part of it, but I have a feeling there's going to be more to it than just Solus. Oh no. Oh, it's a pride demon. Have to stop this demon That's not what they used to look like. You didn't look like that before. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Careful. Careful now. Watch the lightning. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Well, yeah, okay. Watch the lightning. Whoa, I just stepped into it. Oh, no, 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 no. Help. Please help. Oh, we're doing it. We're actually doing it. I have not used a single potion yet. I am also on the lower difficulty. It's a pride demon. Damn thing probably sent Solus's ego. Ooh, maybe. What, what happens if I hit him with that? Oh, we're about to kill him. Yeah, yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Everyone, all right? Good enough. Let's get to Solus. No, Jake, that's the electric puppy. I just... I'm a monster, I guess. You know? Taking out these electric puppies. I can't help it. I gotta do what I gotta do. Go get him, Varric. You can do this. Take it from here. Go on then. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Yeah, I mean you knew him in the Solus past, isn't so. Gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. Uh, I think it's a mistake. I think that he's too far gone. Come on, Varric. We didn't come all this way just to talk to him. He was my friend, Rook. I've got to try to reach him. And if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. You really think you can kill an <gasps> elven god with a crossbow? More demons. My guy Varric looks real old. Yeah, he's Rook, looking a little worse for wear, huh? Team for me. I mean, I don't know how long it's been since Inquisition, but I think maybe some years have passed. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Oh. Uh. 
we have All to right. fight, don't we? Let's buy him some time. Let's go. I just completely missed. <laughs> Buy him some time, and then I just jump past I the guy swinging. He better talk fast. We can't hold these demons off forever. We can, and we will. See, there's only like three of them. Nothing major. The veil is a wound inflicted upon this world. It must be healed by drowning the world in demons. I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the... Whoa. People are dying right now. You need to listen. He's trying to minimize it? It doesn't seem like he's minimizing Please. anything. Well, oh, he broke his crossbow. People are always dying. It is what they do. Brutal. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. There's an idea. The ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right. You two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? Okay, they're gonna no. fight demons, and I'm gonna Stepping do statue time. Raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Ooh. I think uh, Nev with me because. <clears throat> Does make sense. Take a mage to the magical stuff. Harding is a fighter. She can fight off the demons. Let's go, Nev. Harding, keep the demons busy. Does Harding not? Oh, she didn't disapprove. I can't uh, hear what they're saying. I want to hear what they're actually saying. It's kind of hard to hear. This feels um, urgent, though. We need to get there. Did I just leave Nev behind? Okay, she's coming. <laughs> I don't know where Nev's at. Sorry. This is it. We need to bring down the scaffolding. Okay. Break it. Okay, got it. I think I almost fell in a hole too while I'm at it. Why? Why tear down the veil? Knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but it isn't falling. We need to push it. Right. Push. Give it a push. Together. Now. You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. Where is it end? Push! It's falling the wrong way. Oh, is it coming towards him? Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted. Dude, he's so powerful. Why wasn't he this powerful in Inquisition? Hey, Wakey, done with study for now? You're right here for the very intense moment. Oh, not Varric. You can't stab Varric. No. Varric. Wakey asks how the game is. So far, so good, man. Varric. Oh, that's a bad wound right there. No, 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 no. 
we had some issues. I had to lower quality to get it to run right and sh with the stream, but otherwise it's been pretty good. What was that? Something was coming out of the that crack he made. Dude, is Varric gonna make it? Ooh. That doesn't look good. Ah, my grand grandparents. Grand grand grandparents were in the rift. That's who that was? You're you're related to whatever those creatures were? Dang, dude. WT Fudge? You have no idea what you have done. What have I done? Soulless? I know what I did. I stopped you from destroying the world. I was not destroying the world. Sure, sure seemed like it. When you disrupted my ritual, the magical energies pulled me here, into the Fade. Okay, so that's why you're here. But why am I here? Your physical body is unconscious, but you shed a few drops of blood at the ritual site. Enough for a tenuous connection. Blood magic? Firstly, I abhor the use of blood magic. Secondly, had I the power to control you, I would already have used it. Ooh. Um, fine, talk. Let's hear what he has to say. All right, you brought me here to talk. What are we talking about? The Evanurus, or as you would call them, the Elven Gods. The creatures that escaped. In ancient times, they ruled the Elves, but that was not enough. They sought not just to be obeyed, but to be worshipped. When I rebelled, they drew on the horrific magic of the Blight. Corrupting all they saw until I trapped them. Thanks to you, though, I am now trapped. And the blighted elven gods walk free. Oh. See, that's what I was thinking. He's not the main antagonist. It, it, somehow there was going to be a flip. Um, He let them out, though, basically, right? Like, that was him. Thanks to me, I wasn't the one performing a big ritual to free them. Free them? My mortal enemies. I was ensuring that they would never escape their prison. You were tearing down the veil. I had a plan. Varric always said you'd have a big explanation for why none of this was your fault. Varric? Yeah, he said that's your style. Never quite lies, clever half-truths that let you convince yourself you're doing the right thing. He tried to talk to you anyway, and now he's hurt. Varric is quite practiced at shading the truth himself. So those things that got out, you said they were gods? Oh. They said they were gods. Blighted, tyrannical, sadistic gods. It took all my power to imprison them millennia ago, but I am certain you will be fine. Uh, Turbo said, yeah, my grand, grand, grandparents, he means. Turbo, I mean Santa, says Awakey. What do you, what question do you have for Santa? Um, I'm going to say, damn right we will. We stopped you. We'll stop them. I had a ritual dagger of pure lyrium. My network of mirrors could take me from the lighthouse across the world in moments. Right now, you seem to have neither. Do you intend to knock over a statue during their ritual? Well, I don't intend to take advice from the Elven God of Lies. Quite right. Good thought. Good Elganan thought. Elganan and Gilanane are your problem to solve. This it's is your responsibility now. Oh. Why? Why tear down you the veil? You need to listen. No! No! 
Oh, Varric alive. This is your responsibility now. Well, he lives. Who's still with us? Varric, you're okay. But I saw Sola stab you. You fell. Trust me. Look at that. He's bruised in the face and stuff. Gonna take more than a flesh wound to stop me. Don't think I'll be making it out to the field anytime soon, though. Um. Turbo said, yes, dear, awake. I didn't think Santa had great, greatest great grandparents. Family's big and complicated. Tur yeah, that's true. Turbo's uh, got some funky cousins and there's puppies that are actually demons. Uh, I think it's worse than you think, Varric. Things are really bad. When we stopped the ritual, something else got out. Something even Solus is afraid of. You've got this, Rook. World's not flooded with demons right now. Because you stopped Solus, not me. Beric, even so, I need you to... Rook, you've got this. I've seen your work. Like that time you ditched your orders for a better strategy during a dark spawn attack. There's a reason I dragged you into this whole Solus mess. You're clever, adaptable, and you don't know when to quit. Exactly. Look who's awake. I've been searching the place for Lyrian potions. Didn't mean to intrude. Not at all. I was just about to have a look around. Oh, be careful if you go outside, Rook. It is a long way down. The Alluvian led us into something, and it's in the Fade. Because that's what we needed. The dream world. Yeah. Then Let's step I into the Fade. Really need to look around. Can't hurt. In theory. And we need to talk about our next move. Maybe find Harding? She went outside somewhere. There's a table in the central area here. I'll meet you both there. Go ahead, Rook. Me. I need to sleep. Uh, Wakey said, Jake, is this how you look? Uh, when you were once upon a time young. No, I don't. Are you talking about the character I made? I honestly don't know what happened with this character. I... It, it, yeah, I don't feel like it looks like what I was creating. You know, like I made him in the cr character creator, and then when I when I got him out into the world, I'm like, this, he doesn't quite look the same. <laughs> he looks he looks a little different. Ooh, plate of the blood drag. I got the blood dragon armor, dude. That's sick. How do I put it on? Check in with Harding. What is this? Oh, mirror of transformation. What these guys need is the Inquisitor. That's true. Yeah, you see this? Look at how different he looks in the character creator. We can change him. Let's go to... Uh, what do I need to do? His skin tone's definitely way off. We'll... Uh, Bring that down some. Um, no vitiligo. Let's go back. Head shape. His head shape changed. Like I had it where I wanted it, and then it got changed. That's weird. I think that's probably the best. All right, that's all we're gonna do. That that's better already. That way he says, "What I need is some coffee, hot boiling coffee from Cap." Yeah, where is Cap? We need we need him here to uh, deliver us some hot boiling coffee. He's uh, he's been away. What I need is to take little people to work as elves. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You could do that. You could do that. I still, that still doesn't look, it looks so much different. Oh, wardrobe, okay. So, we have to come back here to change our armor. Plate, um, vestments of the blood dragon. Yo, that's sick. That's sick. I think I'm gonna go with that. I got Riva's robes. 
Mantle of the Blood Dragon. Vestments or Mantle? I think I like that one. Do we get a helmet? Casual wear? Oh, do I have any new weapons? Ooh. Blade of the Fallen Kingdom. Are we talking like Captain Sparkle's Fallen Kingdom? Default. Serviceable Rapier. Okay. This is good. We're we're getting some stuff. Uh, Bow of the Fallen Kingdom. Yo, I got good stuff right off the rip. This is incredible. No helmet. We have uh, we have good armors. Let's see if I'm oh, I'm not wearing it. I'm just wearing my casual wear, of course. Ooh, what do we have here? New codex. Introduction to the lighthouse. We're in a lighthouse, I see. A lighthouse with a... Does it have an... Um, a Luvian? Is there anything here to find? Oh. No, it's just showing me where to go. Shadows of Ancient Arlithan. Explore the lighthouse. This is spooky. I'm a little bit scared. So this entire place is in the fade? Wow. <clears throat> Rook, you're awake. And Malive. we're in the fade. And my face is different this now. This <laughs> is where people come when they dream, but nobody notices. Don't dream. And somehow I'm here. Yeah, it's unreal. We must yeah, physically be no, here we then. Talk about what to do next. We should, but maybe look around a little. We might be here a while. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Level two. Uh, K. Open the skill screen. Rogue Corps. Rogues are cunning and adaptive. They fight with two swords and a bow while exploiting enemies' weakness. Is that my uh, my option here? Alright, we can go back. Saboteur, I need level 20. Level 20. Level 20. Okay, so we're stuck with Rogue Corps. Greater passive. Powerful rebuttal gain precision after a successful defend. Exploding arrow. Um, to be honest, the tree on the face doesn't work with the character, says uh, Turbo. Looks super weird. My character just looks weird in general. I like looking at him in the character creator and then bringing him out into the world. He looks different. He just looks so much different. Jump attacks guarantee critical hits. Endure. Great, uh, lose 35% less momentum when you take damage. So we got what? Uh, exploding arrow. This and that. Should be good, right? I think you can always change it. Like You can go back at any time and I think redistribute your points. So we're coming back in here. Gather team. Oh, we got a little so, a little meeting point. Stopped the ritual, and Varric paid the price. Hey, Varric made his choice to go talk with Solus. He knew the risks. We all did. And now Solus is gone, and we're here, wherever here is, besides in the Fade. Solus called it the Lighthouse. He did. When? Um, he invaded my dream. While I was out cold. He showed up in my dream, and he's really mad that we stopped his ritual. Good. 
He's also trapped <laughs> in some kind of prison in the Fade. Not happy about that either. You're sure that wasn't just a dream? It's a reasonable reaction. Solus can speak with people in their dreams, even kill them. I'm safe on that front. I bled a little when I got knocked out. Enough that he can gripe at me, but not enough that he can make my head explode. So Solus is using blood magic, like any normal mage would to play with your mind. But he's not a normal mage, like I told you. He's an elven god. Putting together a nice ritual doesn't make him a god. Um, he's a terrifying god. Of course he's not, uh, more. My gods were dangerous. The gods of my people were incredibly powerful. I don't mean they were powerful like a skilled mage. I mean they destroyed entire cities. They shattered mountains. It's sketchy. So no, they may not literally be gods, but they're a lot worse than whatever you're thinking. All right, well, we've stopped the ritual and there doesn't seem to be an immediate danger. For now. You're certain Solas can't use blood magic to affect your mind? I'm not certain of anything, but we are not out of danger. What do you mean? Solas had two of the other elven gods imprisoned. When he got trapped, they escaped. So those things we saw come out of the Fade when the ritual went wild, those are... Elgrenon and Gilanain. Two of the ancient elven gods that Solas rebelled against. Um, uh, Brob's, or Brob, Bob Grunz Digger. Just everything about this game is awful. The animation, the voice acting, the writing. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem too bad to me so far. We're, we're just at the beginning, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, anyways, welcome to the stream. Turbo says, the roots of the tree look like a goat beard. That's what we like to see. We like the goat beard. Full goated up, you know? They're worse than soulless. Solus warned me about them being evil, which is pretty rich coming from the guy who just tried to tear down the veil. You don't believe him? No, that's the problem. I do believe him. He said they were horrific tyrants. Tyrants so powerful, elven history remembers them as gods. Solus says Elgrenon and Gilanane drew on the blight for power and became corrupted. That was when he imprisoned them. So instead of one god running around, we have two. And they're not just powerful, they're blighted. We need to get out there and stop them. Just like they're that. They're blighted? We're down How are they blighted? Barrack. We can't just rush I missed in. something. I know you're hurt, Nev. But the rest of us need to do something. I'll be ready to fight when it's time, but we need to investigate and figure out what we're dealing with. And how many more people will get hurt, get killed, while we spend time investigating? Uh, Turbo says not on that face. I'm going to leave it just because I know it bothers you now. Because you don't like this little goat beard tattoo tree. It stays. Um, so she's saying investigate. She's saying we're wasting time. Who's right? I think we do need to investigate, right? We need to uh, figure out like a strategy, figure out what's going on. These are gods we're talking about. We gotta find a way to kill gods. Like I think if we need more. If Elgrenon and are worse than Solus, we can't go in blind. We need to know what they can do and what they want. But we only have Solus's word about all of this. Then let's go investigate for ourselves. We find out what we're dealing with, and then we take our shot. Fine. The Alluvian led us here instead of back to Minrathis. Let's hope it goes back to the ritual site. Maybe we can find some clues at the scene of the crime. Nev, are you okay to go? It's a headache. I've worked with worse. All right, She's then. pretty beat up, huh? Let's get back to the ritual site. The Alluvian has its own special room. It's just down the stairs. Yeah, let's get more Hey, Ayo, we just gained a follower? Uh, Layla Hazel, I can definitely see how dedicated you are to YouTube channel. It's inspiring. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Uh, I will be right back if you guys give me one moment. I am back. Uh, let's see. Layla says, yeah, yeah, sure. We're back. Let's, uh, let's freaking go. We're going through an Alluvian, which should take us back to the ritual site, hopefully. How do I get there? Oh, I see. Is there stairs over here? Very nice. 
Yeah, we're, I don't think we're far enough into, you know, Bob Grunsdigger's got some, he's got some hate for this game. I don't think we're far enough into, like, really say it's that bad, you know? Like, we gotta, we gotta give it a chance, right? People are, people are very, um, negative about all these games anymore. Don't even want to give them a chance. For all we know, there's a dozen demons waiting on the other side of that alluvian. <clears throat> if it even takes us back to Arlefin. Neb, you sure you're up for this? Don't worry about me. Ooh. I'm glad they gave me the blood dragon armor. That's pretty sick. Shall we? Let's do this. Layla says it's uh, new, maybe. Yeah, this is a brand new game, and so like, uh, you know, all brand new games, people are always like so negative about. It's quiet. Well, isn't that a surprise? There's the ritual site. We're waiting ten years but for this the game. the gods really did get out, they're not here anymore. Right. Let's take a look around and see if we can find. Demons? Venatory? Turbo BRB? Alrighty. What is that? Shut it down! I'm trying! Uh, Layla says, oh, okay, I try it. Yeah, you should. It's not working! Absolutely. I can't contain it! Are we gonna have to fight it? Can we even fight this thing? This is, by the way, I understand how time-consuming editing can be. Oh, yeah, it definitely Police is. Harding. Harding? What are you doing back in Arlethan? It's complicated. I can see that. Strife. Rook, Nev. I remember Strife. This is Strife and Irlin. Varric and I met them when we first started hunting down Solus. Yeah, They're I don't think I met these guys. Experts in ancient elven magic. Hardly experts. I should have been able to shut that artifact down. I'm sorry, Tarith. That guy kind of looks it's like me. It's not your fault. Like Since my character. Since the sky ripped open, the magic's been surging. A bunch of artifacts that had been dormant for centuries started coming alive. This is because of Finn Harrell's... Sorry. Solus's ritual, isn't it? You all were supposed to stop him. Hey, we tried. We found Solus and stopped his ritual. But things took a turn. The magic went wild. Solus was dragged into the Fade, into some kind of prison. But when he went in, something, or someone else got out. Elgrenon and Gilanane, supposedly. But Thalinast. The return of our gods, the Evanuris. If those two are back out in the world, it explains a lot. Like what? Artifacts that have been dormant for centuries are awakening. Something that would need a source of tremendous magical energy, like two of our old gods. Um. What about the gods? Anything you can tell us about these gods? Solus might be a bastard, but compared to the Avenuris, let's just say they weren't known for being kind rulers. There's a reason Solus led the rebellion against the Avenuris, and a reason he imprisoned them. But now they've escaped. Tareth is in bad shape. We need to get him back to the camp. We've still got dozens of veil jumpers unaccounted for. How can we help? We need to find Belara Lute. She's the best there is at working with our ancient artifacts. And also at blowing them up. She was off looking for another artifact before this ritual shook everything loose. If anyone can get a handle on all this wild magic and the artifacts it's setting off, it'll be her. Right. You get your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> we'll Ooh, find Balara. Nev not doing good, is she? 
Uh, Layla says, I do editing for content creators, so I can help you if you'd like. Um, right, get your friend back to camp, and we'll find Bolara. Nev, help the Veil jump. Nev, stay here. Nev, you're still injured. Nev, you're injured. Stay here with the Veil Jumpers. It's a headache. I'll be fine. You could have like you a, help. a concussion. Well, we'll face out there, and you're in no condition to fight. All right. Just watch your backs. We'll meet you back at the Veil Jumper Camp. It's just south of here. Valara's out near some elven ruins to the west. At least she was three days ago. I'd start your search there. Good luck, Rook. And thank you. They just call me Rook, man. I'm out here named Piz Az, and they call me Rook. What the heck is that? Arlethan Forest. Yeah, I don't understand what Solus's plan was. Like he had to, he did this, all this to put these gods away because the gods were bad. Strange about this fog. It all feels a little off. Like everything shifted a little bit. It's all very fadey. It's all because the fade's coming out. Um, but yeah, he did all this to put these elven gods away, and then now he's just released them, and he blames me for it. But he's the one who freaking did it. Obviously, he had to have known by ripping the veil he's going to release the elven gods that he had sealed away. Is that Wait. suit of armor moving? Oh. Yeah, it's mad. I should have avoided that. I definitely should have avoided that. Take that. Great hit, Rook. You buffoon. We're ah. fighting statues with skulls. Ah. Gotcha. Is she gonna join us? Oh, people. Where'd you come from? Ballara? I don't know. Ballara Luter? Strafenirland sent us to find you. Who are you, exactly? Call me Rook. Lace Harding. Protocol is to wait a full week before they send anyone out to look for me. I've only been gone three days. Yeah, well, things have changed. Changed for the worse, unfortunately. Our gods, Elgernon and Gillanane, they've escaped from Fenharel's prison, and by all accounts, they want to destroy the world. Oh, yes, that is very That's much pretty bad. <laughs> for the worse. That's pretty bad. Okay. I need a second. Understandable. It's a lot to take in. It does sort of explain a few things, though. Like what? Oops. Area. These artifacts started waking up a while ago. Oops. One here, a couple there. Then, a couple of days ago, the sky split open. And now, raw magic. Thick as fog. Only a god, or gods, could have done that. There's something kind of exciting about it. And dangerous. Really dangerous. Dangerous enough that I was going to head back to the Veil Jumper camp, but... But what? See that shimmer? That's a Veil Bubble. It's separating us from the rest of the real world, oh. so to speak. You can only pass through it one way. Once you're in, you can't get out. Can you bring it down? Layla sends the, the love emoji. You enjoying the game? This game's pretty... It's, it's not bad so far. I'm, I'm enjoying. It's decent. Strife and Irland said you're their best veil jumper. Hope that means you've got an idea. Maybe. A bubble like that? There has to be something at the center that's generating it. Something powerful. If we can find it and remove it safely, I mean. The bubble itself should collapse. And then we're back in reality? I really, really hope so. Well, okay. Then, let's get going. So we got to go in this bubble and try and close it up. Well, this is, yeah, you were right. Yeah, I don't know, man. There's a lot of haters out there, but this doesn't seem bad to me. It seems, it seems decent. I've been trying to get to the artifact at the center of the bubble, but these magical constructs Ooh, keep getting that? in the way. 
We've handled our share of demons. A There's few dozen nugs. more shouldn't be a problem. Spirits, not demons. They're animating those suits of armor. The armor's attuned to the artifact to protect it from threats. Threats like us, I'm guessing. We're picking up some valuables. Can I like what is that? That's nothing. Uh can I hunt nugs like we could in Inquisition? I'm wondering. I'm curious what um, people online are going to say about this game. How they're going to feel about it. It's kind of, it's feeling a little bit more origin-like with the fact that uh, you're not just open world like Inquisition was. You have like a trail that you're following. I don't think it's necessary to have every game be open world, you know? They're, they're doing it too much, and for some games, it's like it just doesn't even make sense. So you still have areas like this, little sneaky areas where there might be some treasure or something. Doesn't mean it has to be completely open world. Is that water be just there. swirling into the air? We call Check that kind the whirlpool. The anomaly, I mean. Never seen one this size, though. Okay, I'm a little, I get a little sidetracked, didn't I? Demons! Right where oh. we need to go. Then let's this is where we're place. going? Okay. Companion abilities. Use tab and select the companion ability. Each companion has their own special ability that can be selected from the ability wheel. Quick. Okay. Oh, she can heal. She can do an adrenaline rush. Got it. Yo, that's kind of sick. Yeah, take that. Are, are they, these are supposed to be explosive arrows, aren't they? They don't seem very explosive. Good to go again. So wait, if we do this, can we do that again? That electric attack is pretty sick. Press N to show your current quest and any relevant objective markers. N. I'm pressing N. Oh, I see it just flashes it at you. Nice, okay, that's good to know at least. It's actually kind of handy. What now? Elven Temple, so new what area. Is this artifact we're looking for, exactly? Yeah, there we go, potion up. I have a couple of theories, but nothing definite. We might find some clues in the ruins, though. I guess we got no choice but to look around, don't we? And what's going to happen with Mythal? Because she's kind of like a little bit dead, right? Or at least taken over by Solus. I don't usually see elven ruins that haven't been Ooh. picked over. Jumpers, Not many people leathers. come this far into Arlathan. Just veil jumpers, mostly. And Can people we... trying to save the world, apparently. Can we, like, equip our companions with stuff? Because that would be good for, like, if we have a Veil Jumper companion, right? Wow. I've never seen anything like this. Kind of wild, Wait. isn't it? Is this? No! It can't be. Not here. Can't be what? We have to get over there. The artifact we're looking for must be inside. What was this place? Could have been a temple, could have been where they stored food. But judging by the sentinels, it's probably something important. Oh, the nug's gone. I was going to try and hit that nug. So, like, it's hard to tell now what's what's reality and what's the fade. Because we're, like, kind of doing a, a mixture into the fade and into reality. So, I don't know. It's a little confusing, isn't it? But I guess we just keep moving on. Keep on keeping on, right? Can I hit the nug? Did that do nothing? Can we not hunt nugs anymore? 
I guess we can't hunt nugs anymore. <laughs> How do we gain materials then if we're not hunting creatures? Are we just supposed to jump across? Sure. Oh, no, we can make a bridge. There should be a power crystal somewhere nearby. Oh yeah. <laughs> Would you look at that? It must be somewhere nearby. Got it. Literally right Bring here. Bring it over here and slot it in. It just floats on my back. And there we go. Easy. Huh. That's a cool. great trick. That's interesting. I don't trust this bridge. I mean, it's made of broken blocks. A resonance amplifier. It's drawing magic from the ring temple to this area. I need to shut it down before we can go up the path. But doing that will attract anything nasty that's hanging around. Oh. We're ready. So we're going to we're going to have a fight then. A fight it is. Okay, so I am finding materials in some of these crates and stuff. Whoa, I can destroy a lot of stuff. I sent that wheel flying. Okay, sure, whatever, we'll do this thing. You have to do it? Uh, can you accept my friend request on Discord when we discuss about it? Yeah, I'm uh, in the middle of uh, stream right now, but maybe I will when I'm when I'm done. Attack warning. Uh, an indicator around your head will flash when there is an incoming melee attack. Dodge or defend with Q to avoid taking damage. I already knew that. Like, I can do All this. Right, I kind of didn't time You got to time it, though. I'm really... I'm really fudging this up now. Yeah. That did good. How dare you sneak up behind me? We'll use her power. Kaboom. Kaboom. Why am I not getting my my charge up? Dang it. I was timing it so good in the beginning. Now I'm fudging it all up. Where are they? Is this the last one? Pretty sure this is the last one, right? Well, that's a relief. What a relief. Are we done? Ah, it's you. I see you. I can hit you from afar, too. Yeah, you want some of this, pal? You want some of this, pal? Oh, is that the stuff entity. that they dropped? That should be clear ahead. K to view skills. Okay, we can do that. Get a little bit of a levely up. Uh, I think we still can only do rogue core. At one point. Hurricane of Blades. Necrotic. Reign of Decay. Necrotic. Dang, dude. Can't get this one, right? Progress further. Uh, precision after a successful defend. Let's go with this Reign of Arrows. Sounds kind of cool. That's it. That's my point. Now, how do I use it? Do I have to... Um... Is it, is it automatically going to show up down there for me? I think you get three abilities, which it's kind of crazy that it's only three. I mean, you used to have, like, a whole freaking all ten, ten abilities. Like, all ten keys, you could do ten abilities. It's kind of bonkers. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're only going to get the three, or I don't know how this is going to work out. So are we able to craft our own armor and weapons, or is that not a thing anymore? Is that dead deer? How did that happen? Anything up here? Is this actually the way we're supposed to go, or am I going off trail? I'm a little off trail. Oh, wait, I see. 
We got multiple paths, but there is some stuffs over here. Always gotta get the stuffs. This dude, bro, is like guarding this place pretty good. Damn. Another yeah. sentinel construct. Okay, so my thing we'll does show up down, down there. The number two button will give me the rain of arrows. I should have avoided that. I jumped. I jumped away. Okay. Easy enough. Easy. But watch out. Whenever you see one, there's more nearby. I'm not really finding anything in these crates. I mean, it's fun that I can break them, but they're not really giving me anything. It's a little bit of a bummer. I'd like to get some things. Temple time. Seeing these kinds of ruins never gets old. Can anything here tell us what that artifact is? I have a theory, but we're miles away from where that artifact should be. Do you have a good theory? Or is this just like kind of one of those butts theories that doesn't really mean anything? Let's make this thing float. Throw it on over here. Storm Needle, Common Rapier. Wide of you. Can I change? I think I missed it. I can't change my... Turbo Back went to eat something. That sounds good, man. I haven't eaten today. I need to do some eating. That would be good, I would think. Uh, Jumper Staff Armor, Worn Leathers, Worn Sash. Belt. Oh, these are amulet slots. Wait, hold on. I wasn't done. I wasn't done here. Rusty sword. I thought I changed this all out already. Storm needle. Let's get that. Like, why am I using this junky stuff? I thought I had good stuff. Why is it showing this stuff? This is butts. Unless, is it just cosmetic and you're not really using the good stuff? Uh, these statues look suspicious. Pretty sure they're going to come to life. I knew it. it means I, I freaking knew it. Right about what? About where we are. It's an armory. And I think I Got some barbecue beef with potato. Oh, that sounds so good, man. Ooh, that rain of arrows is pretty wild. I could go for some barbecue beef with potatoes. That sounds delicious. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hit him with the lightning. Dang it. See, I'm much better, I think, at just backing off, avoiding like that, than I am hitting them with the uh, parry. Because you can, like, so you can hit them. Oh, I didn't. I fudged it up. I was hitting the wrong button. You can block them and hit them with, like, a parry, and it does more stuff, yeah. apparently, but. Better than pork. That was super sweet. I don't really like uh, meat sweet. I do, you know, I like the I like the mix of the um, sweet and savory, you know, like salty and sweet stuff. So good. But I don't know that I like pork better than than beef. I think beef is definitely better than pork, to be honest. So what kind of artifact shows up in an armory? A weapon? An archive spirit. A what? A creature of the Fade, bound to a crystal. Our ancestors used them to store knowledge and to help them dream. That sounds interesting. Uh, the pork what? Says Turbo. 
Yeah, I'm thinking I might just have like breakfast for lunch. Make some eggs and sausage. Wasn't it sweet at all, it was just pure sweet. Wasn't sweet at all. It was just pure sweet. Slatty? It wasn't slatty? What are these? Oh, these are... What the heck is that? Are those supposed to be Darkspawn? Mythalinast. Darkspawn. Oh, they look so different. Those don't look like Darkspawn at all. But I guess they must be. They're not very tough, though. Fortunately. Oh, that was a freaking power Darkspawn. move right there, dude. Here. I never would have believed it until today. Salty, says Turbo. Oh, it wasn't slatty, it was salty. Now I understand. I gotcha. Well, it seems like there's a lot to explore here. I don't know what to do. Because this is like the pathway forward, but there's all this other stuff. Another one of those resonance amplifiers. Get oh. ready. Once I shut Are it you down, do this? the path ahead will oh, remain good blocked God. until the magic dissipates. Okay. We've got your back. Oh, I have to tell her to do it. I don't know. If, is this necessary or? I guess it must be. Got it. We're gonna have a fight on our hands. Oh, I'm ready. I do be ready. Oh, it's dark spawn. Behind you. Oh, easy peasy. These are like the weakest dark spawn I think I've ever faced. He smacked me. He's smacking me a good one. I'm trying to bow him, but he's but he's right there smacking me. I thought you could just do a quick attack like I've that. I've never seen dark spawn this deep aim into still? Arlathan Forest before. As far as I know, it's never happened. If the gods are blighted, like Solas claims, maybe they're communicating with the dark spawn somehow, directing them. You saw those oh. dark spawn, though. Something was different about them. And we'll stop them once we get out of this bubble. Yeah, they right. did look different. Let's get to that central temple. I wasn't sure if it was just the new game graphics because, like, this game has changed how a lot of things look. Or if... Because they had, like, red eyes and red mouth. Like, they, they seemed kind of more fudged up than normal. They look more zombie-ish, I feel like. Activate. Use a potion, says... Oh, I probably should. You're probably right. Aim the bow instead of using the mouse. Uh, left click to fire, take an aim will knock you from the ballista. More dark spawn, right where you broke that wall. Well, I can hit him with the old ballista. That works, right? More? Oh, they're climbing up top. Yo, this is cool. This is fun. I love I love getting to fight on a ballista. I missed. How many is there? How many more is there? Come on. That opens the door. How do I get out? Oh, space. Not too shabby. We've we've done it. Uh, Turbo said to use a potion. I was kind of holding out because like they've been giving me these green pots all over the place that give me potions and heal my health. So I was kind of holding out for that. I mean they've been all over. 
But now, of course, now that I need one, I'm not seeing any. Is there anything special over here? I think we're good. I think we can move on. What do these dark spawn drop? Valuable items, common materials, more foul leather, pure ore. Ah, uh, here one. we go. I hope. Me okay. too. And we're gonna have to fight some of them construct things. Well, look at this is what I'm talking about. That is what we needed. That way I save my potions. Oh yeah, these guys are just waiting. Waiting to be activated. Go on and do it. There we go. Ooh, weakened. Get weakened. Oh, when you weaken them, man, you can just straight up frig them up. How do I do that? Like, jumping into the... Whatever I'm doing there. That is crazy that I can do that. You kind of do have to aim still. I thought it would just aim for you. Unless you go into the aiming thing. The last barrier's down. We're close. I can feel it. Nice. Help Laria deactivate the artifact. That's our goal. Our only goal right now. How... How do we get there? I don't see... Maybe this way? Are we going... It seems like we're going backwards now. Wait a second. What do we have here? Oh no, this is where we came from. And so we do have to go this away. Have you noticed something about the blight? Where it is? So not a, to mean, confirm next year early like access, I think. Yeah. Dude, Subnautica is gonna be so good. Can't wait for the next one. Especially like if the multiplayer is true, if I can, you know, get some of you guys hopping on there with me, it's gonna be so good. It'll make it easier for me because the game games will take me forever if I'm on my own, like trying to figure stuff out. But with some pals helping out, it definitely does does wonders. Ah. Cracked scroll, the stench of decay fills the air. Evanuris now wield power beyond anything I've seen. Their magic is fueled by corruption and death and creeps even into the stones. We cannot outlast the siege. Huh. Uh, it's dev confirmed. Nice, that's good. That's very good. That's gonna that's gonna make it so much better. So much freaking better. Almost there. If that building's what I think it is, then the alignment means we're here. We made this it. This is it. This is where it was kept. Where what was uh, kept? The archive spirit, or as the ancient elves called it, the Nodus Dirthalin. It means the inevitability of knowledge. Oh. But what does that mean? <laughs> oh, I oh, look. Don't know actually. The notes were never very clear on that. But I plan to find out. And it looks like we have More a fight ahead. ahead. The inner sanctum. We're getting closer. I thought this was the thing that we were looking for. Frenzied Sentinel. Okay, he is bad. He is very bad. I was hoping to hit him with the arrows. Kind of messed that one up. We got a look at our first Leviathan. Oh, I didn't even... The official site. One to four players. Okay, cool. And we got the first Leviathan look. I have to check it out. I have to go onto the site. I haven't looked, really. I don't know. I kind of try not to look. I mean, especially story stuff. Try not to look too much into 
all these new games because like kind of ruin it for yourself a little bit when you get too much knowledge I'm getting a little bit beat up here this is this is definitely a boss fight that uh, I wasn't I wasn't quite ready for oh hey here we go that's what we needed that did him. Come on, just keep keep going. Ooh, he electric he electric me. Oh, oh no 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 no. Wait. I needed that. I needed potion bad. First potion. First potion I've used in the game. Looks like this door is going to need a second power crystal. Then let's go find one. Turbo says in a new vehicle. Yeah, it seems like they're sticking to new vehicle every game, right? Like you had the uh, was it the Sea Moth in the first one, the Sea Truck in the next one. Seems like they're kind of sticking with that. I think this has to go over to there. Over to here? There is another one over here, though kind of curious about that's the way back out of here so maybe we don't want to do that maybe we want to just do this one power that door hey uh so we had a time change uh mr turbo we went back an hour so what time is it for you now there has to be another one of those power crystals around here somewhere Oh, I do have to power both. I see. I was just dumb. Just the screens uh, we got were saying good game and scary stuff. Good game and scary stuff. It doesn't seem like the crystals in this area, right? So I'm guessing we have to go back this way. Uh, 425 or 1625 he says okay okay so I think this is kind of good then right when my time changes back an hour I think it's better for uh, your guys's time like when I stream maybe Where is the friggin' crystal? Where are you keeping this crap? It's a real glowy in here. Oh. Oh. That's kind of cool. New movement thing I won't spoil. New movement thing. What does that mean? What could that mean? I like how he does that little foot thing when he when he attacks. He had that little foot thing. Turbo says ultra cool. Yeah, we'll see. When the game comes out, I'ma jump on it. We'll see how things go. Could be quite good. I'm well. I'm a little bit worried about uh, one thing I, I saw just today was they were saying the map is going to be even bigger, and that kind of movement thing, like a sea glide. Okay, yeah, that'd be that'd be really cool. Used for movement. The thing that has me a little worried, you know, um, they're saying the map's going to be even bigger. And, like, the map on the first one was so hard to navigate. It was, like, so confusing. So if we have, like, a bigger map, it's going to be, like, wild. I think, um, maybe it's under display. Yeah, I think my brightness is a little high. We'll cut that back a little. That's better. 
I like higher brightness. I like to be able to see, and I like for you guys to be able to see. But I think I had, I think I did a little too much there. Not a sea glide though. So it's like a sea glide, but different. The same thing, just different. All right, I think I might be going too far out of the area. I can't imagine they're gonna have me carry a thing all the way back from here. So it must be in that area. I just am not, I just wasn't seeing it. Another crystal doohicker. Works the same. Yeah, see, I don't get that. Why would they change it? If it's, like, basically the same thing, if it still works the same, why even bother making something different, you know? You could have just kept the same thing at that point. the door first time getting stuck or at least very similar says turbo that makes sense yeah I mean uh it's just weird, you know, if you're going to... Oh, it's over here. If you're going to have the same... How am I that dumb that I didn't see that? If you're going to have the same kind of thing, you know, you could just... You could just keep it the same. Our way through here? I have to go uppies or something? Maybe. Maybe I do. To jump up on here. How the fudge? How the fudgy do I get in there? It looks like a door here that should open, but can my friends help? Did moving this change something? Like, did this need to go here? Huh. How do I get in there? Around the outside? Probably gonna have a slight change on how it works. Won't be 100% the same as Sea Glide. Yeah, I mean, they shouldn't... They shouldn't make it exactly the same. That would be kind of dumb, you know, because at that point they could have just kept the sea glide. You know, there would be no reason to change. So hopefully they do something a little different. Oh, is it out there? Do I have to, like, go from out there around... This has gotten a little bit butt up. It's got me a little bit butt here. Maybe right here. Am I onto something? Both movement items just work differently, so the base potential doesn't change. What the fudge? How do I... How do I get where I'm going? Yo, this is wild. So I could see like the 
the ring thing. That. I could see that from where it was at. But yet I couldn't get at it. That broken bit there? I thought that's where I just was. In terms of base potential, they both move you faster. I don't know. I suppose we'll just have to see when it actually comes about, you know? We'll just have to see how it goes. Why do I pull my weapons? Is there a fight coming? Oh, I didn't mean to take a potion. That was butts. I mean, I've been over. I've been. I feel like I've been everywhere now at this point, and I ain't getting anywhere with finding this crystal. I can see it. It's it's frustrating because I can see it. Where am I? I'm falling. I'm falling and I can't get up. Based on a picture, we know what it will be, says Turbo. Yes, yeah, yeah, I don't I don't read into that stuff too much. Like I don't I don't like to sit there and uh, study every every little picture and like look at everything. It's like I'd rather just when the game comes out, I'm gonna play it. And you know, we'll see how it goes then. Did I try breaking the thing? Like, maybe there's a way I can break through. That I didn't think of. I feel like I have to get up at the top there. But I don't see any way to actually do that. Yeah, I can't break this. It's right freaking there, man. Did I try taking this over to here? Sure says no, like that's the whole point of the pictures to show that. Yeah, I know. I mean, like they're giving you stuff, but it's... I, I could have just brought that here and opened this door. All that time. All that time. I'm just saying I don't like looking into all that stuff. You know, I'd rather just go into the game without having, you know, seen all that stuff they put out. You know, just let it, uh, just let it, let myself play the game without, without ruining things. Break a wall? Oh, okay. Did that kill him in one shot? Is there more? Or is that it? I think that was it. Yeah, you know, I had that thought that maybe I should put the crystal on that other pedestal. Because that might get me somewhere. And I never did it. I just was running around looking like an idiot. <laughs> Turbos is fair. Everyone has their own preferabitis. Preferabitis? What's a preferabitis? That's that's a new word, man. I like that. Preferabitis. Yeah. 
We did it. Finally. What <laughs> is the Nautis Drithalin? I have so many questions for it. How do you ask it questions? It's an archive spirit. You'll see. It's probably going to fight us. You know, she's like thinking she's going to ask this thing questions. I guarantee this thing's going to fight us. 36, 60, 24, wait, what? 36, 60. Better. This one, yeah, this one better. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Ah, it's new emoji time. Preferabitis. Yeah, we could do. I mean, on, um, I kind of need, uh, more members, I think, on YouTube to get more emojis. We can always add them on Discord, but, like, um, YouTube has requirements. You have to, you know, have so many members to unlock new emojis. Okay. Which do, I think. Here it is. The Nautis Drithalin. So we take it and we're good, right? We can head back? Oh, I wish. No, it, it, it's a lot trickier than that. Right. Because hmm. darkspawn, demons, Figures. and animated suits of armor aren't tricky enough. So what's tricky about it? What do you mean by tricky, exactly? If I remove the artifact the way I usually do it, it'll explode and take out half of Arlathan with it. Oh. Good news is, oh. I think I can shunt the energy somewhere else. Okay, here we go. The way the magic is pulsing. Hey, yo, uh, yeah, I've never seen this Wolfwood's before. just subscribed. Wolfwood's is here. Almost like it's What's up, buddy? Breathing. Resub for six months at tier one. They've been subscribed for six. Nice, much appreciated. He said, "Ayo, how you doing today? How's Dragon Age going? Oh, it's good, man. I'm enjoying it so far. Ogre. It's not bad. That's an ogre. We have to fight an ogre now. It's definitely different, you know, than the other the previous games, but I'm enjoying it." Combat's way different. Oh yeah, it's way different. <laughs> it's more action based. Like the old ones were kind of more tactical based. Even Inquisition, you could do a lot more tactical stuff. This is more very very much more action. Holy frig. Good, uh you ready to stream some Alan Wake? Nice, nice. Uh when I'm done with this I'll have to I'll have to catch that. I'm actually pretty close to being done, I think. It's probably be my last mission here. Frig off, ogre. You came at a very intense moment. Oh, I got whacked. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in danger. Ooh, that was big damage. No, 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 no. Nice, nice. Well, I got to bounce. Go get ready. All right, sounds good, buddy. I uh, appreciate you popping in. Appreciate you uh, dropping the dropping the subscribe. That's much appreciated. Turbo says puppy. Yeah, Turbo claims that these are puppies. These big, nasty-looking things. I, yeah, I can see that big old ogre wants your hide. He definitely does. He wants it bad. But he can't have it. I almost just, almost just stabbed my own uh, companion. That, that would have been nice. Yeah, there you go. The, the Jakekin. We got this. We got a Viking up a little bit. Then we can do this. Yeah, I don't know why they decided to change the combat so much. Ooh, ultimate ability. Press 4 to use your ultimate ability. Uh, ultimate meter by damaging enemies. Once full, press 4 to unleash devastating. Okay. I j just when I needed that. Come on. 
Oh, that killed him. Yo, that was bonkers. Turbo says, that's, uh, no, that's no ogre. That's a puppy. Hey, I mean, sometimes puppies can be little demons, so, I mean, well, where's wasn't that? Well, expecting to fight an ogre today. Then again, I also didn't expect to learn that my gods are rampaging around and trying to end the world. Just one of those days. Okay. Let's see. It's a very delicate okay. operation here. If you don't do this just right, she's going to blow up the entire town. Or, I mean, whatever's left of it. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. No, no, no. That's good. I think. Chihuahua specifically, oh. says Turbo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what does that crystal do? Keeps the artifact powered. Focuses the ambient magical energy. That's why these things still work thousands of years later. Oh, no, you don't. We you missed your chance. You should have grabbed it. Oh, no. That's a very delicate thing. Sulanan, Vir Sulevanan, and Asal Dirthara. Well then. I am the Nadas Dirthara. Right, um, I have questions. I am the Nadas Dirthara. Is that all he can say? <laughs> oh, he's broken. Something's wrong with him. Crystal flip. Yeah, she landed it. So that's the archive. Why, why is he broken? So that's the Nautis Durthalan? It was, or is, I mean. Crystal's broken, though. Needs fixing. It's kind of my thing, fixing magical stuff. It probably wasn't broken until she dropped it, right? That's what I'm guessing. <laughs> Just walk around Strife a lot. Strife and Irulan will want to know about this. And the Blight... And the dark spawn. Let me know when you're ready to head to the Veil Jumper camp. I think we're ready, no? Level four. Skills. Oh, uh, what do we want now? We can do evasive maneuvers. Sure. Sounds great. Companions. What do I do with my companions? Oh, I can change their gear. But I don't have anything you can wear. Bond with your companions has increased. She can be a permanent companion, I wonder. No, Jake, she didn't drop it. She wanted the style points for the flip. But she did, I would say she did break it. Because it wasn't broken, and then now it is broken. Oh, that's a Bellara bow, so I'm... I'm assuming she is going to be a permanent companion if we get a bow for her. Let's go. Let's leave. Ready to go? Yeah, let's go. Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. Eleven wounded, sixteen on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of bail jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Hmm. Things are things are pretty dire right now. We need to like get it together. Dang, dude. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be a common thing where we have to go and sort of fix the veil in areas by doing the, the same kind of thing that we did here for this mission. Jahel and Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. I'm back. 
Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements So is this like already. a real blight? We ran into Darkspawn too, near the Nodis Dirthalen. Wait, you found the Nodis Dirthalen? The Archive Spirit? We could but ask it about the gods. His figure out broken. their next move. What are what are you, the Inquisitor 2.0? Hey, something like that. I, I'm the Rook, man. I'm very important. Very important chess piece. Too bad it's broken. If it weren't broken, maybe. But we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out that took them. I know. But maybe, if we find them. We find the gods. Or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demetta's Crossing. What? Irland and Strife. When we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demetta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. Four. I'm coming with you. Nev, Ooh, are you, all right? you were still shaky. She's still a little beat up. I'm coming, Harding. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demetta's Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there. And good luck. Ballara's coming, right, too? So is that a full party? We got Nev, Harding, Ballara, and me? That should be full. It's four people parties. I think that should be good. Quest complete in Entropy's grasp. With the team's help, Ballara disabled the artifact and freed them from the Veil Bubble. She also uncovered an ancient repository of Elven knowledge, the Nod Esther Thalen. While Ballara intends to unlock its secret, she has joined the team as they search for the escaped Elven gods. If we Very are. nice. We'll need a boat to get there. Let's head to the dock. All right. Well, I think I'm going to leave it off there. That's a good point to end the episode. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button there on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications. Don't miss out on future streams or videos. You can also do the same over on Twitch if you want to follow over there. Drop a subscribe. Helps out a bunch if you like watching on Twitch. Also, uh, you can become a member on YouTube. I don't know if I mentioned that. Only 99 cents. Gets you a bunch of cool perks. Or if you want to help support in another way, you can pick up some cool merch. Hats and shirts and a glass and all that kind of stuff. I need to add some more merch stuff. But um, anyways, I think that just about does it. So thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Peace.